I have created a new composition, 800 by 600, with a black background and 8 second duration, but it doesn't really matter what is the size and the background, because the next thing I'm going to do is to add a new layer to it. And in this new layer, I'm going to choose a solid. And for this solid also, it doesn't really matter what color I choose, because the particles are created and colored directly by the plugin that I'm going to apply. So even if I choose a green background for the solid, ultimately when I apply the effect called particle playground, it will end up uh, turning into red particles because that's the default color for uh, particles in particle playground. On the top left, I have all the particle uh, settings now, in particular the one that I want to look into first is to change the color of the particles. I'm going to make them uh, gray or light gray. And after that, I want to uh, move straight away into this other property called gravity. And I'm going to remove entirely the gravity. So now there is no gravity at all. All the particles are just floating up. To change the position of the particles, I can use the position property on the top left or simply move the emitter down at the bottom of my screen. Now, the particles are emitted from uh, uh, bottom to top. There is no variation in terms of direction and uh, no gravity at all. I want to make them look more like smoke, so I'm going to add another filter, another effect called uh, Fast Blur. And after I added Fast Blur, it will look more like uh, smoke. I will blur it just a little bit. Now, if I play, it looks more like smoke, but there is no variation and it looks a little bit too fake. So I want to have more particles, first of all. I also want to make sure that the uh, emitter is a little bit bigger, because now it looks like just a small point. I'm going to change this property called uh, barrel radius just to a few more pixels so that the emitter is a little bit larger. Now, I want to add some uh, randomness to the smoke, and I'm going to add a few expressions. In particular, the one that I'm looking into now, it's for direction. So here is how it works. I have to hold down Option or Alternate on my keyboard and click onto the direction stopwatch. You see the number becomes red, which means that I've successfully added a expression at the bottom here in the timeline. And this is the expression that I'm going to uh, type here. I'm going to type a simple wiggle and then I'm going to open bracket and I'm going to insert the frequency and the magnitude. So I want to uh, insert a frequency of once a second and a magnitude of about uh, uh, 15 degrees. So I'm allowing the particles to change uh, um, direction once a second within a range of 15 uh, degrees. There you go. So it looks more like a realistic smoke. I want to have uh, also a more a random number of particles and I'm going to add an expression for uh, particles per second too. By default I set it as 152 so this will be my beginning point. So alternate or option click on two particles per second. The number uh, become red as well so it's ready to set an expression. I'm going to type a, a very similar expression to what I just uh, typed um, for direction but in this time for um, the particle per second I will have to keep in account that I'm starting from 150 so the expression will be wiggle open bracket I'm gonna say uh, once a second change that value 150 within a range plus or minus 200 so 200 particles more or 200 particles less than uh, 150 so then when we play now you will see that the particles of smoke are emitted certain time like uh, uh, dense and certain other times like more rare and it makes it look more natural. You can control the blurriness as you prefer. You can increase or decrease depending on what type of smoke you want to create. And that's the first part of the tutorial. In another tutorial I will explain how to attach this smoke to an object uh, while the other object is uh, moving.